2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A view of the Atlanta skyline. And we've got... Kevin, thanks. David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. And one injury for them. They're still pretty close to full strength, though. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. We'll see how... They answer the bell. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons. And there's Anthony Tolliver. And it's Green. And it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Hawks, they've got Trey Young. Clint Capella is out there with Collins. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Snell in at the small four. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. That one drops for him. Couple terrific centers in tonight's matchup here. Great, great pivots. But uh, center matchups are far from traditional, it seems like, these days. No doubt about it, Kevin. Okay, once you get into this now small ball mindset, this positionless game, I mean, you're seeing guys as short as P.J. Tucker play the five because listen when you're 25 feet from the basket if I'm 6'2 and you're 7'2 I can still guard you so because of the spacing now it allows you the luxury to play smaller takes the 12 footer and hits and with an expanding skill set Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court young outside from deep rebound by the 76ers Here's Simmons. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And when Simmons is inside, forget about it. He uses his skill and smarts to take advantage. And what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. He does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. Lock at six. Young drives in, and Embiid with the block. Length plus agility, great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. Tolliver, no luck. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot, 
but he has a long time to figure it out. He, he could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. Here's Simmons after the basket by Atlanta. And it's off from three-point range. Bogdanovich looking around. Fires top of the key. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on MB. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot-blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Alinari, he's checked in for Collins. Hunter comes in for Tony Snell. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Williams in for Trey Young. And then for Philadelphia, Mark Miles, he's checked in for Green. Jake Milton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And George Hills subbed in for Anthony Tolliver. And here's the fast break. Gallinari leading the way. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. An underrated athlete, Danilo Gallinari, is built to operate out in space. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right uh -huh. there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Atlanta making a switch here. Okongwu is checked in. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Howard's checked in for Embiid. Scott comes in for Simmons. Tobias Harris is checked in for Korkmaz. And it's Seth Curry in for Hill. Right wing. Here's Herter, defended by Milton. Finding makeable shots. Kevin Herter continuing to become more efficient as they score. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Harris looking it over. Over Hunter. Back to Milton. Harris outside. Curry with a wide open look. Here's Howard. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Uh, Howard really brings it on the offensive glass, using that wide wingspan to come up with those loose balls. Out to the right wing. Hunter, the pass to Williams. Hawks passing it around. Here's Herter. Gallinari. And the rebound goes to Howard. The 76ers leading by three. Harris kicks to Scott. Jacks up a three. And no good that time. Odds have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Molinari dishes to Okonwu. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Curry. 16 feet away. A shot off that time. Here's Hurt. Some solid defense from Harris. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. At the end of one, a closely contested game. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Chris Dunn is out there with Lou Williams. And it's Okongwu in its center. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. Here's Max. Chris Dunn making his last shot. Outside Curry. This one for three. And the 76ers get it back. Pass to Maxi. From past the arc. Collins grabs the miss. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Fibel, the pass to Tolliver. Over Collins. Tolliver with the bucket. When you have space like he did there, you never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. Outside Williams. Out left to the wing. 
outside Cowan. 18 feet out. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Howard's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Feibel, the pass to Maxi. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Outside Cowan. Wants to get it to Dunn and does. Williams for three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his eighth rebound here tonight. To the inside. Here is Tolliver. He's guarded by Collins. Tolliver, no luck. The Hawks trail by five. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside as well as outside. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Tony Snell comes in for Hunter. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Williams. Young is subbed in for Chris Dunn. Hawks have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, G.A.? I love the confidence from him. And you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. Simmons finds and Plants it go with a three. Another miss by Philadelphia. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Green passes to Simmons. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Oh, on, hold on! Goodness. You got to buckle up on that one. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Now, here is Young. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Over Hill. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to three on the bucket from Young. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Hill deciding where to go with it. Atlanta with the rebound. 112 left in the second quarter. Down low. Collins kicks to Young. Capella dishes to Bogdanovich. Fires from 18. Here's Snell. Young against Hill. Back to Snell. Over Green. Green with the block. Good shot blocker for his size. Danny showing great timing right there. So for the Hawks, Alinari comes in for Collins. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Tony Snell. Philadelphia also making some changes. Mike Scott's checked in for Hill. And Matisse Theibel subbed in for Korkmaz. Herter passes to Capella. Here's Colinari. That shot off. Now the 76ers take it the other way. It's three on three on the fast break. Let's it fly from 18. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. That's next level vision. Young could probably lead the league in assists if that were his goal. Outside, Simmons. Kicks it to Scott. Over Gallinari. Scott, good. And the 76ers lead by three. Beautiful ball movement. Draw and kick. The defense can't catch up. And some good action through the... Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. The largest lead they had was six in the... Thanks for joining. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. 
Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that the league can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. You know, you almost take it for granted. You look at his numbers from the first half. They're just expected at this point. Heading underway in the second half. Here's the five for Jack Rivers. Embiid is out there with Anthony Tolliver. Then it's Green. Then it's Simmons. And it's Tribal in at the two spot. Throw it down, young fella. Simmons is explosive and without a doubt, one of my favorite dunkers. And the amount of pressure that Trey Young puts on a defense is staggering. He's either carving you up with his passing or hitting you with that jump shot. You know, G.A. Trey Young is the type of player that can lead this league in scoring and in assists. And also, possibly could do it in the same season. For a youngster, he sees a lot of double teams. It's impressive how he handles it. Now here's MB. He has six. Count it. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Out to the wing. Back to Young. And he uses the glass on the way. Young's got his second basket of the game. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The drive by Simmons. Good work there as it goes. Simmons got six. And, and really, Simmons is nearly impossible to contain when he's sprinting to the hoop. An athletic behemoth who causes defenders fit. For the Hawks, DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Tony Snell. Williams comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich, and it's done in for Young. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Howard's checked in for Joel Embiid. Curry comes in for Danny Green. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxie's subbed in for Ben Simmons. Here's Dunn, and it's blocked. Tolliver for three. It's hauled in by Dunn. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Williams for three. Hunter dishes to Collins. That one falls. He has seven. Never one to shy away. Collins delivers as much contact as he receives. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Now, here's Milton. Not a lot of room. And it's slammed in by Howard. Yeah, and Howard's still a forceful finisher around the rim. Williams kicks to Dunn. Back to Williams. Howard with the steal. Milton with it. Guarded by Hunter. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. It's stolen by Capella. Hawks passing it around. Williams with a clean look. No good with a triple. Philadelphia leading by four. Here's Milton. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Whatever they did right in the first half defensively, we're not seeing it now. To the left side wing. Capella, the pass to Dunn. Six on the shot clock. On deep, Collins. Offensive rebound. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella, skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now, here's Maxi, And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. So for the Hawks. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Alinari comes in for John Collins. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Dunn. Philadelphia also making some changes. Scott comes in for Anthony Tallow. And Harris subbed in for Maxi. Here is Howard. Eyes yet again. On the wing, Milton. Right side curve. And stolen by Hunter. This is the type of playmaker Lou is. Outstanding at getting it to his open guys. There's 45 seconds left in the third. Now, here's Milton. 
Now the pass to Harris. Fires, high post. Six to shoot. Howard kicks to Harris. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Harris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Williams looking over the floor. Fires the three. Okongwu dishes to Williams. From deep three-point range, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we've reached the end of the third. 76ers ahead. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Haterade all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Hawks, Young and Herder make up the back. Gallinari is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now here's Simmons. The kick out to Hill. Simmons passes to Embiid. Takes the three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Here's Korkmaz. Gallinari covering. It's stolen by Capella. Here's Herter. Atlanta again missing. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Scotty's checked in for Philadelphia. Green comes in for Korkmaz. Simmons with it. And Simmons slams it in. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And the defense knows he's relentless. You have to try and match that intensity. So it's the Hawks now. After the Sixers pick up two. Bogdanovich finds Gallinari. Five to shoot. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. Chalk up two there. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Thibault. Simmons with it. A three ball. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. And here is Simmons. Outside, Green. Young with the steal. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. Here's Herter. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. It's a three-point game. And that's a foul called on going up. That is his first foul of the game. Atlanta making some changes. Collins checked in for Gallinari. And Tony Snell subbed in for Kevin Herter. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for Scott. Now here's Simmons. Five on the clock. A well, shot that time. Not on target. Good work defensively by Capella. Bogdanovich dishes to Collins to tie it up. And stolen by Simmons. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. That one good for two. And the 76ers lead by five. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed. And 
That's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Capello with the bucket. And defenders have to be mindful of Capello. His length and strength can be a problem down low. Simmons feeling it out of it. And Simmons slams it in. <laughs> Love how Simmons commands the ball, especially in the big moment. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. Low percentage shot from long range. Terrible decision, especially when you still have a chance to win this. Outside, Green. Pulls it up high, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. And Philadelphia making a change here. Milton's checked in. Now, here is Young. Out they get it back. Capella, the pass to Collins. Young from outside. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Here's Bogdanovich. To the wing on the left. Shot clock at six. It falls! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Incredible. Often the smallest guy on the floor, Young consistently comes up with the biggest plays. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Simmons dishes to Embiid. Tolliver for three. Rebound Atlanta. And it's all about the three right here. And they're looking to tie it up. Live to play another period. We'll see what they run right here. So it's the 76ers taking. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up.
Now it's ended up. Hey, Kevin. Terrific. David, thanks. They're down a body tonight, but it shouldn't have too much of an impact on their rotation. Missing a valued contributor. That can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for Atlanta, Tony Snell is out there with Okongwu. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Young in at point. Well, Bogdanovich showing he's got speed out on the wing and running hard to fill the lane. Middleton right side. Lopez outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's the Hawks with the ball. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's Snell. Lock at six. Young dishes. What a jam! Wow, man. Loving that right there. What a jam! I would say that Trey Young's pick and roll game is fairly advanced for a player his age. What a treat to watch. Now, here is Holiday. Eleven feet away, and that's off the glass and in. Yeah, I'm looking over at the coaching staff. Smiles on their face. That's what they want. Holiday very skilled at getting to that spot and hitting a J. Here's Young outside Bogdanovich. Young finds Bogdanovich. Here's Snell defended by Middleton. Okongwu off on the layup. For Milwaukee, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Here's Atlanta now. Stolen by Middleton. Here we go with Holiday running it up the court. Goes back up. Pass to Lopez. Kicks it down to Middleton. Now, here's Antetokounmpo. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim can GA take your breath away. <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. Man, none of it feels like an exaggeration. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Connaughton passes to Portis. Got a piece of it. Here's Connaughton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And so it's Gallinari with it. They'll bring it up for Atlanta. The putback, it's good on the putback. Yeah, that's where John Collins sets up shop down in the paint. Quick and athletic, able to corral the miss. Outside T. Outside Portis. And Tucker has it in the corner. Here is Forbes. The 19-foot shot. Milwaukee. No good that time either. Here's Herder. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Connington. That one wide left. The Hawks leading by six. Gallinari inside the three-point line. Here's Herder. To the middle. Here's Collins. And finish off by Collins. 
And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. The Hawks have gone six of nine, shooting well. Williams with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Inside and stolen by Portis. Here's Forbes. What a play. Simply trains it in at the buzzer. Resourceful move. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Hawks lead by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter. You know, I think the underdog story must start it. And Greg playing with a chip on his shoulder has served Portis well. Some guys try to block out the haters. Portis uses it as fuel to keep achieving more. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And for the Hawks guys, what stands out to you, stands one. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court right now for the Hawks, we've got Williams. Gallinari is out there with Hunter. Then it's Chris Dunn. And it's Collins in at the center, locking down the middle. The Hawks leading by four. Young outside. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up. In a preseason game, we play the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times, and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or Internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Here's Young, and it's sent back by Lopez. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And that sends Clint Capella to the free-throw line. That one is on holiday. The Hawks shooting their first foul shot of the game. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. And here is Adetokounmpo. On the wing, Holiday, defended by Young. Here's onto Takumbo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Clint Capella. Well, I think Takumbo does such a great job of using all he has at his disposal, which is mostly his frame in drawing contact. The Hawks leading by four. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Rejection by Giannis by himself, and Giannis throws it down. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard in a great field for when guys are open. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for the Hawks. And it's good for two. You just can't take Trey Young lightly from anywhere on the floor. These kind of shots will help him get into a rhythm. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, if you just look for a few minutes at Giannis Adentacupo on the court, you know why he's called the Greek Freak but it's the drive that makes him an MVP. He said, people try to make it complicated. Life is simple. You know what you want, go get it. Do what it takes every day and don't lie to yourself. Guys, I hope you understand I'm being truthful in all of these reports. Back to you. Love the intensity, David, thank you. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. Just five to shoot. Back to Bogdanovich. And it's sent back by Lopez. 
And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, and Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. The shot's good. Uh, he's just gifted with the basketball, and that includes making plays. Lou Williams spotting a man that time. And what was once a weakness for Collins, now a strength. His defense has taken huge strides since the start of last season. And I think a, a young player like John Collins learns that blocks are not just a statistic that reveal how good you can be defensively. It's about positioning. It's about communication. And John Collins wants to be more complete on that end of the floor. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Teague in for Drew Holiday. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Outside Portis. And there's the pass to Forbes. And so Milwaukee again turning it over. The Hawks leading by six. Now Williams. No points in the game yet for him. Dishes to Gallinari. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. And that's a foul called on Gallinari. That's his first foul. Milwaukee with the ball. Pass to Portis. To the middle. Here's Forbes. Back to Portis. Passes to T. Six on the shot clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Connaughton. And the Bucks miss again. The Hawks have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. It's Collins with the drive in the corner. Herter with it. Here's Williams. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Atlanta making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Bruno Fernando. And Chris Dunn subbed in for John Collins. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Now here's Teague. Kicks it to Tucker. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Shot from the inbound. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Atlanta came ready to play. An exceptional game plan helped them open with a 12 to And... And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Clint Capella really making a difference here. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that the lead can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. Yeah, avalanche warning in this one. He is just on a roll. And Milwaukee, look at who they've got. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three slot. Young pass to Bogdanovich. And that one drops for him. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket of the game to go. When Bogdanovich drives, it's for a reason. He's made a good decision to knife inside. Giannis kicks to DiVincenzo. Back to Anadokounmpo. Shot clock at five. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. 
Young dishes to Snell. Pass to Capella. That's tipped. Here's Okongwu. Pass break, Milwaukee. Middleton outside. The kick out to Hunter Kumbo. They get the rebound. Another shot. Lopez, no what? The Hawks leading by four. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And the basket is good. Bogdanovich has got six points. Greg, we know the names of the superstars, but there are players that are just under that category who probably should get a little more recognition. Hey, hey, Kevin, that's a great point, and I'm going to toot my alma mater's horn a little bit. Christian Wood's a guy that kind of good one. Yes. reminds me of that. He's kind of on the come up. How about Devontae Grant, mm -hmm. the second rounder back in 2018? But he's showing to be an established young talent in this league, and there are many more guys like that, and they're going to have their opportunity to become household names. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Tony Snell. Young looking it over. Here's Holiday on the pass to DiVincenzo. And Capella sends it back. Quick off the floor, has that long reach. Capella there with the intimidation. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for the Hawks. Dunn comes in for Trey Young. And Bones with that Clint Capella trade last year to the Hawks. A, a bit of a surprise to many, but the Hawks were able to land a young and talented center. And maybe GA the perfect fit for how it is that their team is constructed around Trey Young. Capella is going to be that pick and roll option, can finish above the rim, and is a good defender to protect the guys on the defensive end. Nine feet out. Giannis passes to DiVincenzo. And again, the Bucks miss. The Atlanta leading by six. Right around three minutes into the second half. Capella against Middleton. Capella with the bucket. He's got seven. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Bruno Fernando's checked in for Capella. John Collins comes in for Okongwu. Alan Ari, he's checked in for DeAndre Hunter. Lou Williams is subbed in for Chris Dunn. Not settling for jump shots there as Herter gets his way on the drive. Bucks trail by 10. Yes. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. The end of the drought. Yes, that goes in. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And he commits the intentional foul. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Andrew DeCumbo. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Teague in for Drew Holiday. Well, it's such a challenge trying to alter anything that Lou Williams does just because you're on your heels most of the time. Pass to Connaughton. To the paint. He's looking for Portis and finds him. He kicks it to Tucker. Passes it to Connaughton. Down low. Six to shoot. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Atlanta leading by ten. Williams with the ball. Picked up by Portis. Here's Fernando. Here's Herter. Atlanta now working with a new shot clock. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. For Atlanta, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And so it's Teague with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Tucker. Here's Connaughton. Here is Forbes. Shot clock at six. And Tucker kicks to Forbes. Over Collins. Forbes can't get it to go. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shoot. And so it's...
and there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Bucks trail by 12. Hunter is out there with Gallinari. Then there's Tony Snell. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Young in at the point guard. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. The pass to Holiday. Back to Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Kicks it down to Middleton. Just four to shoot. Rebound collected by Snell. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Young from outside. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hunter's got his first two points. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Here's onto Takumbo. Misses off the right iron. Atlanta leading by 14. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And Bogdanovich throws it down. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find him. Lopez kicks to onto the combo. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And, and all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Middleton. He's guarded close. For Atlanta, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Young pass to Hunter. To the inside. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Young. And Giannis throws it down. Open up the floodgates and let Giannis run through. What a joy to watch him in transition. And Young kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Young. Golinari up top. Stolen by Holiday. Jumps up. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Hunter with it. Just five on the clock. Launches a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. And Giannis pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And the dunk by Giannis. Giannis bringing it down, using that sensational length to get that finish. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. And here's Young. Three-pointer. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And now they decide to foul intention. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Colin Hart. Okongwu comes in for Hunter. Collins checked in for Tony Snell. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Lopez, no luck. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. Bucks trail by 12. Holiday lefts up. Down low, the kick out to Adetokounmpo. Back to Lopez. Second chance shot. Here's Holiday. And another shot. For three, Middleton. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Good size and the ability to carve out space. Lopez battling on the rebound. And, and we'll just watch the clock wind down, guys, in what will turn out to be a win here for the Hawks. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Clint Capella. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. 
Young outside. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lobbed up there for Collins. Stolen by Middleton. An even three-on-three -three break. Adetokounmpo kicks to Middleton. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. Offline with his three. And so the Hawks take the win. Thank you, David. Great.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA.
and a glimpse inside the locker room. Players' final few. Hey, Kevin. They're fun to watch, DA. Thanks. Looking now at the lineup for both teams tonight, some names out of action. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Durant on out there with Irving. Then there's Harris. And it's Claxton in at the five spot. And for the Hawks, Tony Snell is out there with Collins. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then it's Trey Young. And it's Capella in at the center, filling out the middle. And so it's the Nets getting on the board first. Got a piece of it. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. On the wing, Irving, defended by Young. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got his second basket. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college, and it's one of my teammates, Stacey Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Claxton the pass to Katie. And Harris wide open. He shoots. His three-pointers off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Uh, Greg, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. Here's the Hawks with the ball. Snell kicks to Capella. Back to Snell. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. How about the force from Clint Capella? When he's got good position inside, he's throwing it down. Outside Durant. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. Now, here is Young. Got a hand on it. It's two on one. On up the court. And it's Brown that time on the assist by Irving. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Outside, Cowan. Young looking around. Back to Collins. And finished off by Collins. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys, uh, for any team. Coming down the stretch in close games, you've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about it. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. And then for Brooklyn, Jordan, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Green comes in for Joe Harris. And James Harden subbed in for Bruce Brown. Sliding his way inside. Williams taking advantage of that late reaction by the defense. Here's Irving following the score by Lou Williams. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. Williams. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Quick off the dribble. Gets a step on the nearest defender. Bye-bye, says Williams. Harden against Gallinari. And Harden with the stuff. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Ammonia strong, we call that. Wear that rim out. Now, here is Gallinari. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Jordan trying to free himself up. And again, it's Lou Williams. 
And, and once he got to the 10, I, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Durant with a wide open look. Let's keep it alive. Green kicks to Irving. Durant for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. KD's got five now. I think we're all aware of Durant's in the gym range as a shooter. I mean, seriously, I don't think there's a shot he can't make. Williams in the post, covered by Irving. Jordan with some nice D. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And then Durant with the dunk. You know, why settle for the layup when you're this close? Durant might as well just turn it over and punch it home. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Inside. Okongwu's shot is good. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Stolen away. Here's Herter. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Well, Irving looking engaged and aggressive there, making an impact at the defensive end. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Nets lead. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Herder the two with Hunter at the three. Okongwu is out there with Gallinari, and it's done in at the one. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Hawks. They kick it out to Green. Back to Griffin. The pass to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's a defensive three-second violation. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. Close games can boil down to who makes plays on defense. And that is one heck of a rejection right there. The Nets have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. John Collins comes in for Gallinari. And it's Bogdanovich in for Kevin Herter. And the Nets making a change here as well. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Green. Solid in transition. His eyes light up when he gets a chance to finish one of those off. Out to Harris. Fires from deep. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Harden against Dunk. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Dunn's got his second bucket. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. For the Hawks, Tony Snell comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Young is subbed in for Dunn. Now is Harden for three. Harris does not find the basket. Is there miss? He's made just one so far. Here's Young and the rejection by Harden. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And the slam by Blake Griffin. Hey, we know Harden can score. But he also has great vision. And Clark, when you look at the footwork of James Harden, arguably some of the best in the history of this league. And you know, Greg, he studied the greats. I mean, he loved Ginobili's Euro step and then added it to his own game. Now he's taking that to another level, and he's the one giving out the lesson. But you're right. Got great strength, but the footwork is really outstanding. Fast break for Hawks. Tries from the block. Snell, that's good. Now just a one-point Brooklyn lead. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Harden the pass to Claxton. Two points. That one goes. Claxton's got his first points in this one. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Young against Harden. 
And too much time in the Green. lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Lou Williams is checked in for Atlanta. Then for the Nets, DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Griffin. And Irving subbed in for James Harden. Irving kicks to Brown. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Hawks trail by three. There's Snell. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brown feeling it out a bit. For three, Harris buries it from three-point range. Harris has got a pair of triples in the second now for the Nets. You know, like a lot of shooters, Harris prefers to release off a pass, catch and shoot, not the dribble. And Young, here we go, and he banks in the lane. Young's got four points now in the quarter. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Here's Claxton back to Jordan. Harris outside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Jordan the pass to Harris. Jordan trying to free himself up. That three off the mark. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Running so smoothly. Williams saw the opening. Nothing but points for him when he gets in that position. And they go to the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Alinari comes in for John Collins. DeAndre Hunter, he's checked in for Tony Shots Snell. Good. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Trey Young. That's good. Now, how about it, the strength and focus work. on that one? It's clear Hunter up to the challenge at finishing on a physical defense. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Irving with the ball. Six points for him. Pass to Durant. Brown wide open. He fired. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. Brown's got five points so far. Would have been impossible for KD to miss his teammate there. He was wide open. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Okongwu. Outside Williams. Again, the Hawks score. Love the decision making here. I mean, Sweet Lou knows he can beat his guy to the spot and then takes it strong. Here's Durant, and there's the call on Durant. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this a competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. And a star in his role. And that... Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Lou Williams. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So for Brooklyn now, they've got Kyrie Irving. Durant is out there with Joe Harris. Then there's Brown, and it's Claxton in at the center position. Here's Brown after the made shot from John Collins. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And Kevin Durant, one of the greatest scorers to ever play. Now, not the most prolific scorer, but perhaps the most talented. He's dangerous from any part of the floor. And both free throws good for Durant. Greg, as scores go, Kevin Durant's as efficient as any. Uh, I mean, Durant has an insane field goal percentage 
for the shots that he takes. I mean, when you factor in how many threes he puts up, it gets even more impressive. Grant takes so many shots where he's covered and is still efficient. It's it just mind-blowing. Here's Irving following the basket by Trey Young. Irving passes to Durant. Three-pointer, and it's Kyrie Irving with the three. Irving's got nine points. Always great from deep. I don't think Irving has gotten enough credit for how lethal he is from behind the arc. Here's Young. And that one is off. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. Emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Harden comes in for Bruce Brown. Harden against Collins, and the layup's good off the glass. Harden's got his second basket of the game. You know, tremendous and wonderful balance from Harden. This dude could have been a running back of the highest caliber with his size, dexterity, and balance. Never lets the defense get him out of his rhythm. Alan Ari, he's checked in for Atlanta. Chris Dunn comes in for Young. Jeff Green is checked in for Brooklyn. And the tough by Capella. Yeah, his teammates are going to like Gallinari more and more with every one of those passes. Good job to set up for a wide-open look. Now, here is Harden. Five points in the game. Griffin kicks to Green. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you like to have played with from this era? Man, there are so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table, but in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off. Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. Here's Green following the score by Lou Williams. They grab their own miss. Griffin and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Gallinari. And Blake Griffin is just an incredible athlete, explosive and great balance and mobility. Powerful. A big, big guy who can flat out throw it down, and he also can pass it, too. And when he first came into the league, Blake Griffin's dunking made headlines. And while I'm sure he enjoyed that, he was also eager to show that there was more to his game. Kyrie Irving's checked in for James Harden. Here's Okongwu. Alinari outside. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Williams. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine drives. He's shooting 78%. And you know, Greg, in the past, Griffin felt at times criticized as being a one-dimensional player. I, I tell you, Kevin, I think he's answered those critics. If you look at his passing and his development as a shooter, one of the more complete offensive players in the league. Here's Herter. Makes it off the glass. Herter's got the lead up to two now for the Hawks. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Now here's Durant. Ten points for him. And he comes up with the deuce. Focus. Intense focus. Durant has bundles of it. Once he catches the rock, the first thing on his mind is let it go. Williams against Irving. Williams attacking. The putback. Here's Okongwu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. Chris Dunn's checked in for Lou Williams. And then for Brooklyn, Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. And it's Brown in for Joe Harris. And here's KD for three. That doesn't go either for Durant. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. 
And it's Hunter with the jam. Well, one thing you like there is the extra pass. Evidence that the game is starting to slow down for Dunn. Brown outside. And a wide open look for Irving. No good on the triple. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock to the paint. And Jordan sends it back. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. On the wing, Irving. Dunn covering. Irving can't hit. And here's the fast break. Dunn leading the way. Here's Herter, and it's blocked by Jordan. Durant way outside. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Hawks ahead. They're up by four. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Nets trail by four. Trey Young is out there with Chris Dunn. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Collins in at the four spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. One May three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. He gets it in there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Irving finds Brown. Back to Irving. Here is Durant. Six on the shot clock. Shot by Boast. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Boy, if you allow Durant that look, he's going to punish you. I mean, it's that simple. Here's Young. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Hawks lead by six. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Here's Irving. Again, the Nets for two. Irving has the touch needed to do damage from just about anywhere, including from there. Young outside. Good for another field goal. Number five on the night. Five for ten shooting. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And on the way from Irving for three, rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now, here is Young, and three. the officials calling for a three-second violation. And the Hawks making a change here. Snell's checked in, and the Nets also making a change. Joe Harris is checked in for DeAndre Jordan. To the middle, stolen by Collins. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. And then Durant with the chance. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers. Game changers. Momentum shifted, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Irving looking over the floor. No good on the three. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. Long outside. And it's tonight. Now here's KD, the fast break opportunity. And so they choose to intentionally foul. 
Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Harris inside the line. Rebounded by Snell. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Cam. That's not a good look at all. And that one, good. Young's got the lead up to six now for the Hawks. You know, you can't afford to let Young slip by you, especially in these open floor situations. That is inviting trouble. Young with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Capella, the pass to Young. And he converts the layup. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Hawks. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy. And the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. And here we go. Hawks run it again. It's Young on the wing. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Inside, Capella to the left wing. Two on the clock from downtown. Great D that time from Irving. In transition, here come the Nets. Brown finds Irving. Now here is Harris. Over Bogdanovich, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And Harris plays with such freedom and fearlessness. He's a guy you can count on to take and make big shots. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Certainly one of the most beautiful structures in the most historic. And one injury for them. They're still pretty close to full strength, though. Short a rotation player, nothing they can't overcome. But it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. They've got Tony Snell. Clint Capella is out there with Collins. Then it's Trey Young. And it's Bogdanovich in at the shooting guard position. And for Philadelphia. Mike's got out there with Green. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Simmons in at the point guard. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with this play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done, and the numbers speak for themselves. The Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. Here's Bogdanovich. Snell kicks to Young. Another miss by Young. And the 76ers with possession. Here's Thibel. Rebounded by Snell. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Young with no one around. Connects from three-point range. Oh, nice to see Capella find the open teammate as he continues to develop his ability to create for others. Simmons looking around. Let's a floater go. He can't get that one to fall. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They right now are searching for a bucket. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Uh, the play in transition from Collins is impressive. He gets down the court with such speed and then finishes it so strong. Now here's Thibel. Passes it to Scott. For the three. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. Jake Milton. He's jacked in for Matisse Thibel. Checking in for the 76ers. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Scott the pass to Embiid. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Oh, you got to keep your eye on Embiid, especially from these in-between areas. I mean, he's effective at scoring. Over to the left wing. Back to Young. Collins wide open. He fires. Embiid with the steal. And now the 76ers on the break. It's Scott on the wing. Misses the wing jail. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. So you don't get many chances easy on that. And he makes that one. You know, you grew up with aspirations of someday getting into politics. Any current players who you could see maybe taking that same route? No doubt. There, there are several guys uh, in today's game. Uh, you know, Harrison Barnes has, has the polish, and I know he's had some thoughts that maybe going in that direction. Uh, teammates nicknamed Malcolm Brogdon the president for his stately <laughs> demeanor and commitment to affecting change. I, I absolutely see him trying to have an impact socially moving forward. There, there are several guys, again, who not only have the voice, but the courage to speak out about things that matter most to them. Many sharp guys in the NBA. Now, here's Milton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Oh, an underrated athlete, if you ask me. Green has the leaping ability to do damage inside. Simmons against Young. To the right side. Collins kicks to Young. Rebound by Joel and B. The 76ers trail by five. Keeps it alive. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I uh, love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well done. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would. Milton the pass to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. A problem inside. That's what he is. Once Simmons gets the ball in the position that he wants, he goes to the throw. 
In the corner, Collins with it. And stolen by Scott. Pass to Milton. Pushes it down to finish the break. And that's up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. Now, here is Young. He's got five. Snell kicks to Young. It's stolen by Milton. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Embiid. Tolliver comes in for Scott. Harris is checked in for Green. And Curry subbed in for Ben Simmons. Releases. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. It's a battle boxing Howard out. Too big, too strong. Williams scanning the floor. The Hawks again can't hit. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. 70. And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed this. For me, it, it comes with. And with social media now, Greg blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Yeah, they're clawing, they're grinding, they're doing anything they could to make the most of their possessions. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for Atlanta, Herder the two with Hunter at the three. Gallinari is out there with Okongwu, and it's Williams at the point. Here's Williams, following the basket by Dwight Howard. Williams passes to Okongwu. Back to Williams. Last break, Philadelphia. It's Curry outside. They get it again. Howard kicks to Thibault. Curry against Williams. Pocket six. Good on the bucket. The Hawks trail by seven. And Korkmaz, the Turkish guard, taken at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. But last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. That one goes. Count it. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Now here is Hill. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. A pass to Howard. Gallinari with the rebound. Alec Korkmaz standing 6'7". Greg, there's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge advantage in certain matchups, Kevin. Great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steals. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Howard. Tolliver comes in for Matisse Thibel. Tobias Harris is checked in for Korkmaz. And it's Jake Milton in for George Hill. Oh, you got to know where Embiid is. I mean, when you lose sight of him, he'll kill you on the boards. Pass to Okongwu. Here's Herter. From outside, off the mark. The 76ers leading by seven. Harris outside. Here's Embiid. Hunter grabs the miss. Now with the D playing soft off him, he might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, Probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> that, that wouldn't. I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But but I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. 
I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> a masterful penetrator. Once Dunn notices an opening in the defense, he tears it asunder. Passes it to Milton. Tipped away and stolen by Dunn. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. An excellent defender. You can see that Dunn takes pleasure in coming up with steals. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Mike Scott's checked in for Tolliver. Green comes in for Tobias Harris. Matisse Thibel checked in for Shake Milton. And Simmons subbed in for Curl. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Bogdanovich is checked in for DeAndre Hunter. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Collins after the Sixers pick up two. Dunn kicks to Capella. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. Back to Capella. The Hawks again can't hit. Philadelphia has gone over two from deep here in the second. Bogdanovich against Embiid. Puts it up from seven. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Now proving how legitimate of a threat he is inside. I mean, once Embiid gets it this close, uh, I mean, it's all but over. Here's Young. That shot, no good. And it's Philadelphia the other way. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tobias Harris comes in for Green. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Snell's checked in. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. Because the three, uh -uh, not one of them, ain't working. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that one. And it's Bogdanovich off the drive. And that one, good. Refusing to be tied down, Bogdanovich is fantastic at adjusting his body and shot when he gets hit. Gets it off, and no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. So that'll be it for the first. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter suit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. The period came to a close with that. And that does it for our... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. The Hawks trailing. They've got Scott. Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Green in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Now Thibel after the miss three from Trey Young. Embiid finds Scott. Philadelphia moving the ball. Around. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, you got to stay down on the shot fake. I mean, once Embiid has you in the air, the rest is easy. And MB drops them both. Oh, this is a big fella who has no problems at the foul line. I mean, a very smooth touch on his stroke. Young is double. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here are the 76ers now. MB the pass to Simmons. The three, it's rebounded by Herter. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. The three, he can't get it to go. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Embiid, the pass to Simmons. Back to Embiid. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Embiid's got four this quarter. This is what a point guard should do. Simmons is so adept at noticing when the defense is overcommitted. Here's Young. 
banked in off the glass. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive end. Now here's Simmons. Kicks to Embiid. Cloak loose. Just five to shoot. Simmons passes to Scott. Fires for three. The offensive rebound. Over in the corner, Green. Sinks the three-pointer. Green's got five now. You can't let that happen defensively. Green gets the chance to catch and shoot. It's almost automatic. Right side, Collins. Back to Young. From deep. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. It's still early, but a one for four start to the half. That's a bad sign, if you ask me. If they've got a can't-miss play, now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris has checked in. Atlanta also making some changes here. Okongwu's checked in for Bruno Fernando. Alinari comes in for John Collins. Lou Williams is subbed in for Trey Young. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Okongwu, and that one hits back iron. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Now, here's Thibel. Simmons inside. He's guarded by Williams. Simmons, and Simmons is right there. Simmons got the lead up to nine now for the 76ers. And look at it. A significant portion of their offense coming on those second chance opportunities. Williams dishes to Gallinari. From deep. It's hauled in by Thibel. Philadelphia leading by nine. One forty-six left in the third. Atlanta's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Here's Okongwu. Misses off the left eye. And so Green will bring it up for Philadelphia. For three, Harris. Embiid kicks to Harris. And the 76ers get it back. For three... Gets it to go from beyond the up. And it's a 12-point Philadelphia lead. Yeah, you look at this run they're on, and you have to give a lot of credit to their effort on the glass. Outside Williams. To stop the drought, he dishes it to Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. Outside, Simmons. Bible on the wing. Here's Embiid. Almost, but it rolls out. This can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Hunter, no good. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run right now. And the wide open shot from Green. Off target with his three. The Hawks trail by 10. And Williams, here we go. And he gets the bucket. Williams has got his first bucket in this one. So savvy inside for a player of his size. And tough. Williams will do whatever it takes. And Harris, wide open. He shoots. Outside for Simmons. He got it up, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Philadelphia in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. A good size. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. On the court right now for the Hawks, Bogdan Bogdanovich is out there with Dunn. Then there's Tony Snell. Then it's John Collins. And it's Capella in at the five. 
He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Hilton the pass to Tolliver. No good from outside. The Hawks trail by six. It's Collins with the drive. Tips it, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Uh, and the massive wingspan of Capella, I mean, excels at using it to gobble up misses at a high rate. High post, help. In the corner, Terrace. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. Dunn kicks to Bogdanovich. The 15-footer. Here's Capella. Nice move. And it's sent back by Howard. No trespass. Howard controlling the and, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Trains the three-pointer. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Out to the wing. Down against Kirk. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. The three-pointer off the mark. Philadelphia leading by nine. Outside curve. Pass to Howard. Beyond the arc. Rebound Atlanta. Here's Capella. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Howard's got rebound number five here tonight. Now here's Milton. Done covering. Howard can't hit. The Hawks trail by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Snell, no good. And Clint Capella is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. And it's a completely new group here for Philadelphia. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Young's checked in. Now here's Simmons. Here's the pass to Pfeiffer. Pass to Scott. But Trey. Rebound Atlanta. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Snell from outside. They get a bet. And it's Bogdanovich on the follow. No excuse for not boxing out Bogdanovich. He'll torture you for that mistake more often than not. Outside, Simmons. It's Scott on the win. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, we've seen this before. Snell really flashes that killer instinct when he's needed most. Here's Simmons. To the wing right side. Embiid, the pass to Simmons. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. And the 76ers lead by seven. Young looking around. It's up a three. That one doesn't drop. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. 110 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Thibault kicks to Green. Launches it. Drills it from outside. And now a 10-point 76ers lead. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces. As it appears, it'll be a nice win here for the 76ers. Mm -hmm. And as we watch the game wind down, you have to look back at all the second-chance points these guys generated. Yeah, they clearly won the second-chance points category. Possession after possession, we watch them go after the ball and make misses turn into makes. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Joel Embiid. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy. All his tools were on display tonight as he lit the place up. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. Oh, well, it's tough, man. When you get to this point in the game, you fought hard, did your best, but it just wasn't enough.
He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass to the tip. Scott with the ball. Bible, the pass to Simmons. Here's Scott. Misses the three. Cohen, that's a two-pointer. No good. So Philadelphia wins it. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, they're...
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Downtown Milwaukee is seen. They're down a body tonight, but it shouldn't have too much of an impact on their rotation. Short a rotation player, nothing they can't overcome. But it does shrink your margin for error just a bit. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Tony Snell is out there with Okongwu. Then there's Bogdanovich. Then it's Clint Capella. And it's Young in at the point. And for Milwaukee, Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Portis in at the five, roaming the paint. And so it's Atlanta with it. The Hawks working the ball around. And stolen by Portis. And above the rim play, always captivating Steve. We should see a lot of that tonight. And Kevin, I'm so excited. You know I play under the rim, so to get a chance to watch guys play well above, I am getting my popcorn ready. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ballgame. It's rebounded by Portis. And to the Kumbo inside. Nice move. He stepped back and cast it up. And I really marvel at the touch of Antetokounmpo for his size and physique. That's incredible. Now, here is Young. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. First quarter just over a minute played. Here's Young. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Bobby Portis. He's a natural-born scorer who leaves everything out on the floor. Young simply makes things happen. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Outside Holiday. Back to Giannis. And that one is good. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Young laid in with a nice touch off the glass. With that tight handle, Trey Young can get anywhere on the court he wants to go. And so onto the Kumbo looking over it. Here's Portis. Back to onto the Kumbo. Middleton outside. Off target from outside for Atlanta. They've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Now, here is Young. That one, no good. Good D by Holiday. And the 22nd pick in 2015, Bobby Portis with a nice shooting touch. And at the same time, not afraid to mix it up. Maybe to a fault. At times we've seen him get caught in the heat of the moment. You've got to channel that competitive edge and stay strong mentally. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Here's Williams. Excellent D there from Holiday. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. Here's Williams following the basket by Giannis. Over Holiday. Atlanta again missing. Bucks leading by six. Bucks another fast break opportunity here. Even Shenzo can't hit it. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Passes to Collins. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Because he's so good at shooting it and driving it, defenses overplay Lou, leaving other guys free. Outside Holiday. DiVincenzo finds Middleton. Back to DiVincenzo. And here's Middleton. Outside Holiday. Five on the clock. Here's 
It's rebounded by Herter. The Hawks trail by four. Shots good by Williams. Yeah, credit Herter. Recognizes where the help is coming from. Finds the open man. Outside Holiday. We've got 108 left to play in the first quarter. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Robbed up there for Collins. An emphatic LU jam. Beautiful catch and flush by Collins. A high flyer who attacks the rim with purpose. Giannis outside. Pass to Portis, 11 feet away. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Out to Gallinari. 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. That gives them the lead. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Out of the up top. Eight points for him. Makes it down to Middleton. The pass to Giannis. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Dunn looking over the floor. Lopez with the block. It's a bonus whenever Lopez comes up with the swat. Want to see more of this from the big fella. One quarter in the books, and it's... I got a lot of we recently caught up with Drew Holiday, who talked about some... Being able to go through adversity and come up stronger. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. This is where you credit the guys in the front office for going out and getting you the pieces you need. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Hawks. Trey Young is out there with Dunn. Then it's Okongwu. Then there's Bogdanovich. And it's Capella in at the center position. Here is Forbes. Four on the shot clock. On the strike, and he drops that one in. So a guy who does so much work outside the arc, Forbes looking comfortable from mid-range. Williams inside. Yep, it counts. Williams has got the lead up to four now for Atlanta. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Here's Connaughton. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Giannis comes in for P.J. Tucker. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Drew Holiday in for Bryn Forbes. Here's Holiday following the basket by Trey Young. Here's Hansa Tacumbo. Middleton the pass to Portis. Right side out of Tacumbo. Back to Portis. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Teardrop shot. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. And I've said this, you can, you can coach a lot of different ways, you can win a lot of different ways, but you've got to be sincere and true to your principles 
and, and your philosophy. And those are the coaches, and I've had them that have done it different ways, but they've been the most successful. And listen, you've also, at the professional level, you've got to have a presence about you. You've got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in. Here's Young. He's got 10. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Outside, out of the combo. Portis can't get it to go. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. It's tipped. Here's Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Pass to Middleton. Now, here's Portis. Capella covering. The kick out to Holiday. He's looking for Portis and finds him. Outside, out of the combo. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Nice pass there to set that basket up. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. They lead by four. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. it up off the glass and the Hawks lead by six and it's coming easy for them right now five baskets in a row in the paint passes it to Teague here's Connaughton and it's out of the combo penetrated so strong Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league helps him absorb the contact Williams dishes to Collins and finish off by Collins. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. There's 31 seconds left in the first half. It's good. And now an eight-point Hawks lead. Dead eye shooting from them this quarter. The Bucs have gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. Giannis passes to Lopez. And I know this coaching staff love. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. At the line for two. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, Personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in error. So they have determined, Greg, to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. The future of DeAndre Hunter is bright. A versatile player who wants to be great, in my opinion. It could go. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Trey. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for Atlanta in the first quarter. Their biggest deficit was six points. In That's all for now. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Yeah, and early on, he has been feasting in the paint. And, and you have to think they're going to keep feeding the big fella. Why go away from something that's working? Force the defense to prove that they can stop it. 
Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Portis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. And so it's Milwaukee now, following the bucket by the Hawks. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrating. From 12 feet out, it's hauled in by Clint Capella. Capella's got four rebounds now tonight. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Lopez is checked in for Bobby Portis. He gets that one. Okongwu's now got the lead up to 14 now for the Hawks. They are just killing him on the interior. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Antetokounmpo swings it in. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Now, here is Young. 12 points for him. And Okongwu has it in the corner. Five to shoot. Young drives in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good forgen, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is really? not true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. it, you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. Here's Young following the bucket by the Bucks to the paint. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. B.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Bucks. Don, he's checked in for the Hawks. Bucks trail by 12. Outside Holiday. It's stolen by Capella. They get a hand on it. Here's Bogdanovich. And he gets it to go. That makes three in a row to start the second half. The Bucks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Pass to Middleton. He kicks it to Lopez. That one a little long. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Dunn dishes to Capella. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. And the Hawks lead by 16. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And an intentional foul right there. The Atlanta making some changes. Here's Connaughton. Now the pass to Lopez. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Back to Connaughton. Shot clock at six. Leaps for it. Out of bounds. Atlanta takes possession. The Hawks leading by 16. Pass to Herter. Teague against Williams. Addition now to Gallinari. From outside the arc, back to Williams. From the arc. Tries again. He feeds it to Collins. And the shot goes in. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. And so it's Teague with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. 110 left to play here in the third. Here's Connaughton. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Here's Atlanta. They're on a 12 to 4 run. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Aggressive inside. When Hunter attacks, good things happen. Love the initiative. And, and Smitty, if I'm coaching DeAndre Hunter, 
I'm making him watch nothing but tape of Kawhi Leonard. He has that type of body and can aim to be that kind of player. Yeah, I totally agree. Both were lauded as mostly defensive players as rookies. Hunter showed he has some shiftiness to his game offensively. I think he has the chance to be on the same level at the end of the day as Kawhi Leonard. No harm in having that as a goal. And there's the call on Kevin Herter. That's his first foul. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Milwaukee. Bryn Forbes comes in for Jeff T. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Atlanta. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws of this game. First one falls for Antetokounmpo's checked in for Brooke Lopez. Both shots good from the strike. The Atlanta leading by 18. Seven second difference shot and game clock. At the top of the key, Capella. Master Herter. From 13, Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Off with the layup. And so it's Atlanta with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court for Atlanta, Gallinari is out there with Hunter. Then it's Clint Capella. Then it's Chris Dunn. And it's Snell in at the two-guard spot. The Hawks leading by 18. Dunn outside. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Dunn. Kicks it to Snell. Dunn outside. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Tucker. Here's Giannis. And another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and, and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Drew Holiday in for Bryn Forbes. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Young's checked in. Pass to Snell. That's in coming off the assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by 18. And really, Snell needs no time at all to get his jump shot off. He's looking to score once he gets the pass. And here's Holiday. Giannis outside. And dumps it right on top of Trey Young. Wow! When you've gained a decade or more of experience, this is what tends to happen. Holiday stand very patient waiting for someone to break free. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. Hawks passing it around. Atlanta leading by 16. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And Giannis throws it down. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. The pass to Okongwu. Dishes it to Bogdanovich. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. The Bucks making a switch here. Tucker's checked in on its way from Young for two. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Can't fault the play call. Even though he couldn't convert, that's a good shot. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And the long strides of Antetokounmpo. Once he gets downhill, there's almost no stopping 
pass to Snell. To the inside, here's Capella, and the dunk by Capella. And, and a great this time. And it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able to a challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. With double checking, and the game continues on. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team during the break. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. All right, thank you, David. Moment here now for an injury report. Now, let's send it over to David Aldridge for an update on Bobby Portis. David. Well, guys, I was able to catch up with the Bucks' head athletic trainer. He said that he does have a broken nose. It's definitely a painful injury, but not a worst-case scenario. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. I know he'll fight back hard to get back on the floor. He wants to be out here with his teammates. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Hawks. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big-time outing for Trey Young. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. Tucker with the ball. They get it back. It's good on the putback. Yeah, just a terrific job of just staying with it. Nice. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. He rifled that one in from distance. And the Hawks lead by 16. The first thing that jumps out about Trey Young, the limitless range. Holiday left side. Middleton inside the three-point line. Can't get it to fall. And so it's the Hawks taking care of David. Thank you as always.
2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And the Hawks with a confident look as they go in and Kevin, thanks very much. All right, David, thank you. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. They've got Trey Young. Clint Capilla is out there with Collins. Then there's Tony Snell. And it's Bogdanovich in at the shooting guard. And for Brooklyn, Duran is out there with Harris. Then there's Brown. Then there's Irving. And it's Claxton in at the center, filling out the middle. Now, here is Irving. Lots of speed and athleticism on the floor tonight, Brent. What do you think could determine the outcome? Well, if guys are going to play fast, Kevin, and guys are going to be up in the air, it's going to come down to very solid decision-making to see who it is that separates themselves in this one. Nets on defense. Here's Snell. Knocked away. Young passes to Snell. Six on the shot clock. Young's shot is off. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Back to Harris. The Nets working the ball around now. Irving finds Harris. There's the triple. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Capella goes in. Collins wide open. He fires. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Irving looking for an opening. Durant with a wide open look. And again, it's the Nets missing. Atlanta's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Bogdanovich, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Staying aggressive, stay on the attack. That's how Bogdanovich is going to earn these whistles. It's his first trip to the line. And as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Irving attacking. That's tipped. And they'll keep possession. Durant kicks to Irving. Let's it go from deep. He's off on that one. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Offensive rebound. Yep, that one goes in there. Bogdanovich got himself in a great spot just reading where that carom was coming off of the rim and collected it. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Count that one. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Here's Young following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And I think for years to come, you're going to be talking about the draft that Trey Young was involved in as the picks got swapped. One franchise getting their guy and this team finding Trey Young. And he's been a blessing for where they need to go. And here's Brooklyn, trailing by two. Here's KD. Rebound by the Hawks. Now there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Capella finds Snell. Takes a three. Atlanta gets it back. Collins in the post. KD's on him inside and so they foul intentionally really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that you know maybe there's some bad blood between those two Brooklyn making some changes DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Nicholas Claxton Green comes in for Joe Harris and it's James Harden in for Irving anticipating the contact there and toughness through that play Durant is not afraid to attack the defense Williams scanning the floor. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. 
Brett, you know the Hawks believed in Trey Young on draft day. They made the trade for him and gave up a chance at Doncic. Well, I don't look at it like that, Kevin. I look at it like Atlanta got their guy. It's not about who else was on the board. It's the fact that they could get their number one choice, and that was Trey Young. And it's Williams with the ball for the Hawks. Fires the three. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And stolen by Hunter. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Stolen by Harden. Now here's KD, the fast break opportunity. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. And the Hawks can't hang on to the ball. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Here's Harden. And Harden with the stuff. And once Harden has momentum behind him, watch out. The love seeing the beard flush it down there with some power. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Here's Herder. The Hawks again can't hit. The Nets shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw drops for KD. About the charisma of KD that time. Teammates loving what he's bringing to the table here tonight. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Over to the wing. Back to Dunn. Alinari outside. Over Green. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And Green's defense, very important to this team's success. The way he gets up in the face of whoever he's guarding. It becomes it. And so the first quarter is in the books. Nets lead by four. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. Nick. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal, of course. I'll... Giving their offense another dynamic. And it also helps him preserve some energy for those big moments in the big games. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And so in the game for the Hawks, Herder the two with Hunter at the three. Gallinari is out there with Okongwu, and it's done in at the one. A nice shot by Gallinari. What a shot by Gallo. Way out there, and he still buries it. Harden dishes to Green. Durant down low. Gallinari covering, and it's in there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Brooklyn making some changes. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Green. Harris comes in for Brown. And it's Kyrie Irving in for James Harden. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Collins comes in for Gallinari. Bogdan Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Hunter. Young is subbed in for Kevin Herter. And Young, here we go. The wing jumper off target. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. Claxton with the bucket. Claxton's got the lead up to eight now for the Nets. Now the passion in New York is a pro sports city. Greg is unquestioned. Talk about the pros and cons, though, of being a player in New York. You know, the, the opportunity personally prof and, and professionally it is immense, no doubt about it. But so is the media scrutiny. It can be very intense. And the fanaticism does make it hard to live a normal existence. And I think the guys who embrace being in a city like New York are the ones that typically are able to perform at the highest level. So you can either thrive because of it or wilt because of it. Just kind of what your personal preference is. You called it, partner, and I have seen it happen both ways. Oh, I bet. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Done. Wide open. He fires. 
And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Dunn. Some changes for Brooklyn. DeAndre Jordan comes in for Blake Griffin. And James Harden subbed in for Kevin Durant. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Tony Snell's checked in for Chris Dunn. Here's Irving. It's through for a second basket. He's now two for six. And after that ragged first quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. To the left side wing. Young for three. Kept alive. Here's Collins. Second shot opportunity. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Here's Capella. To the wing on the left. Snell from outside. Capella. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Here's Harden. And he goes big with the dunk right on top of John Collins. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. Outside Collins. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Someone's open. Trey Young scanning and finds him. Nets leading by eight. And you just can't get tired of watching the way Young shoots the ball. I mean, what a fantastic release. And it's just limitless in terms of the range. That's what makes it so impressive. He's a small guy. He's quick, and he's got great handles. But he can heave that up from just about anywhere. And when he gets hot, it's something to watch. Back to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. Well, you want to lead by an example. Bogdanovich leading the way with the assist. There's a minute left here in the second. Here's Irving. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. So for the Nets, Jeff Green is checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Brown in for Joe Harris. And not much of a surprise there. Kyrie, one of the better free throw shooters in the game. And so hard to guard without foul. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by Brown. And so Brown will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Jordan's shot is off. The Hawks shooting the ball poorly, just 28%. Here's Williams. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Williams has got his second basket. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. Irving up top. He's guarded by Williams. Good on the shot. Irving's got the lead up to 11 now for the Nets. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Okongwu kicks to Williams. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Williams has got seven points in the game. Well, you got to honor Lou Williams' shot from deep, especially if he's got other things going offensively. Has a great feel from when to pull the trigger. I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. One. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, and welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. Bernie Jones. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. They never put themselves in too much danger. Four points was the most that And that'll about... And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. We've got Durant down out there with Irving. Then it's Joe Harris, and it's Claxton in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Everyone expects him from long range. Nice to see him in the mid-range get something done. Irving passes to Harris. Collins grabs the miss. 
Collins has got his fifth rebound in this one. Pat Donovich wide open. And Irving pulls it down. Nets leading by eight. Brown right side. There's the three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got rebound number five here tonight. Young with no one around. A three-pointer, no good. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. In the corner, Collins with it. Capella, high post. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. KD's shot is off. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Here's Irving, and the shot is long. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. How about Trey Young? Even when he's bodied up there, finds a way to collect more points. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Irving. It doesn't go for him. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. A three from Bogdanovich. Traps in the tray. And it's now only a one-point Nets lead. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Kept alive by Atlanta. Kicks it out to Cowan. Capella, the pass to Bogdanovich. Capella trying to free himself up. Goes up again. Hawks passing it around. And here's Collins from outside. It's hauled in by Harris. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And there's the call on Durant. That's his first foul. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Green comes in for Bruce Brown. In the corner, it's Hunter. Back to Williams. Alinari on the wing. For the tie. It's not going to go for him. The Nets go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. Uh, a three-time sixth man of the year. Last season, Lou Williams named his newborn son six in honor of his success in that role. We talk a lot about the Mount Rushmore of the game's greatest players. Maybe we can start to chisel out the sixth men of the year in the NBA. Lou Williams would have to get some serious consideration for that monument. And Brooklyn making a change here. Harden's checked in. Four on the clock. And the D has made some adjustments since halftime. And as a result, they're denying a lot of those easy looks that they gave up in the first. Nets leading by three. Now Green. That one goes in. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Back to Williams. Here's Herder. Off target from three-point range. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. And, and that's just great work there to get in the shooter's space and then go and corral that backboard. Uh, Herder showed some great progress in his first year and now showing how much more comfortable he is. The Atlanta shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. So for the Nets, Jordan comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Bruce Brown in for James Harden. Left side, Irving. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. 
I know Kyrie is not the biggest guy on the floor, but he is built and built to take that kind of contact. Irving against Williams. Gallinari outside from deep three-point range. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Here's Griffin and the slam by Blake Griffin. Now Griffin good at timing when it is that he leaks out a huge target on the fast break. Hunter, no one around him. The Hawks again can't hit. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We come back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. On the court for Atlanta, we've got Williams. Gallinari is out there with Hunter. Then it's Chris Dunn. And it's Herter in at the three shot. Yeah, check out the hops on Blake Griffin. Just one of those lethal alley-oop threats in the NBA. Williams can't hit. And so Griffin will bring it up for the Nets. Nine-point game. Round kicks to Green. Oh, Griffin in position. Out of bounds. Atlanta takes possession. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. And Brooklyn making a change here. Harris has checked in. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Harris on the double team. Pass to Williams. It's stolen by Green. Here's Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. And Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. On the wing, Williams. Let's it go from deep. Offensive rebound. That shot, no good. It's stolen by Capella. Colinari dishes to Williams. Hunter, the pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find him. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Jordan. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Collins checked in for Gallinari. Tony Snell comes in for Hunter. Bogdanovich is checked in for Lou Williams. And Trey Young subbed in for Dunn. Irving with a clean look. Rebound Atlanta. Collins has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Bogdanovich dishes to Capella. Pass to Young. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Capella. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turn. Brooklyn leading by nine. And here is Irving. Plenty of space. Rebound collected by Snell. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Now, here's Capella. Down low. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Brown. And Jeff Green, the bucket on the assist by Irvin. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Hawks trail by 11. Young taking his time here. To the paint. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Eight points for Trey Young. Yeah, just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Here's Irving, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Clint Capella. Kyrie Irving, one of the quickest players in the game, so he's outstanding at forcing the issue when he wants on the drive. Durant's checked in for the Nets. I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters 
are super valuable, and there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. No doubt about it. And, and Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, I mean, he shoots that step back three, but he's a guy that, because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul, still as good as anybody in that mid range area. CJ McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. Man, I love that list. You're right on. Well, that's the attitude that the coaching staff talked to us about before the game. Heads up, aggressive play, and right at whoever's guarding Trey Young. That one falls, so he hits both of them. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Left side, Irving took the opportunity when he saw it. And the Nets lead by 11. Yeah, I feel like he uses the dribble to set up his rhythm for the mid-range shots like that one. Kyrie knocks another in. It's Young on the wing, covered by Irving, Capella, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. Outside, KD. Tries from 10. Kept alive. Out to Harris. Outside Irving. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Nets. They never settled for mediocre shots. And Kevin, they had great penetration this time out. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Kyrie Irving. Just does a great job. Oh, 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 too man. much. Too Ooh. much. And back. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Here's Capella. Three-pointer. Snell cans it from downtown. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson, the pass to Luau. And the three off target. Here's Hurt. And the rebound goes to Griffin. From deep. It's off. So it's the Nets picking up the win. It was all right, David. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Thank you.